What's the matter? Well, we came all the way here to the rainforest to sell umbrellas, but some howler monkeys took them. Those were your umbrellas? Oh, silly monkeys. I'm sorry. The howler monkeys worry about me because I'm always out here in the rainforest getting wet. You could have really used one of our umbrellas. Well, I can't use an umbrella because I can't hold it. I need both hands to do my drawings. What do the howler monkeys do when it rains? Oh, they just get under some big leaves to keep them dry. Leaves to keep them dry. Hey, Gilly, that gives me an idea. We can make you a hat out of these leaves. That would be great. And we can call it the umbrella hat. And so, Molly and Gil made umbrella hats for everyone in the rainforest. Umbrella hats! Get your umbrella hats! Made right here in the rainforest. Here you go. Thank you. Whoa, wowzers! <laughs> They're saying thank you. You're, You're welcome. welcome. <laughs> in the middle of a big rainforest where everything grows it might be wet and hot but we love our home far as the eye can see it goes on and on the jungle is full of light and the amazing Amazon and so from that day forward everyone in the rainforest stayed nice and dry and they all lived happily ever after and lizards' bodies are covered in... Scales! Yup, scales. The scales help protect them. When a lizard is cold and needs to warm up, it lies outside in the... Sun! That's right. Lizards are cold-blooded, so they need the light to warm them up. Lizards are cool. Let's sing about them. A little lizard lying under a lamp might be a perfect pet to keep. Aww. But bigger reptiles like the heat of the sun, they need to run wild and free. Some eat plants or need to fill their tummies. Lots of them eat bugs. Ew, if you're a gecko, that's not gross, it's yummy. Covered in scale drums. And shed their old skin when a new one's done. Some change their color so they're hard to see. You'll never beat a chameleon at hide and seek. Running across water, swimming through sand. What kind of animal can do all that? This is where Bubble Kitty's owner lives. She said that we could find her here. Hey, look! I'm up here! Ah! Here I am, Bubble Kitty. I'll be right down. <gasps> oh no! We have to help her before she falls. <laughs> Come on, everybody! Follow that cat! It's a big ball of yarn. 
Well, that's convenient. We can use this to pull her off. Here it comes. Everyone, pull! We need more help! Bubble Puppy's helping! It's working! Darling, you came back for me. Thank you all for bringing my little kitty back home. And thank you for saving me, too. That was a close one. Aww. That was close. We better bring Big Chick back to her daddy before that leopard seal comes back. Let's go to Emperor Beach. Here we are, Emperor Beach, where the Emperor Penguins live. Look at all those penguins. How are we ever going to find Big Chick's daddy? Well, penguins make special sounds to call each other. Each mommy and daddy know their penguin chicks call the best. So, we just need to match Big Chick's call to the right daddy. OK, Big Chick, start squawking. We need your help. Big Chick squawks four times in a row. Which one of these daddy penguins also squawks four times? Let's listen to this penguin. Was that enough? No, that was only three. That wasn't enough. Let's listen to this penguin. Was that enough? Yeah, he called four times. Let's see if he recognizes Big Chick's call. Yeah, he's Big Chick's daddy. Hi, Mr. Emperor Penguin. Here's your chick. Eat this penguin chick. Eat her? Well, I don't want to eat that cute little penguin chick. You don't? Then why were you chasing us? I need a babysitter for my baby. Aww. Welcome to Puppy Playdates, the best in the doggy friend business. Arf, arf. <laughs> what can I doggy do for you? I'd like to take a doggy out to play fetch. You might want to keep it down. Some of these dogs are pretty into fetch. Whoops! <laughs> We've got a possum selection of doggy friends to choose from. But you have to choose carefully. Sometimes dogs are ready to play. And sometimes they're not. Just like you and me. Like when we feel sleepy or just want to do other things. That's right! Now let's pick out a friend for you. I have two dogs to choose from. This dog is relaxed. And this dog is growling. With its teeth. I need your help. Which dog is ready to play? This one! That's right. This dog looks relaxed and happy. He's ready to play. You can pick up your doggy friend right this way. Thank you. Have fun playing fetch. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Woof, woof. Hey, Dima. What'd you get for lunch today? I got chicken soup. What did you get, Gobi? I got chicken noodle soup. Arf! What did you get for lunch, Nani? 
I got chicken poodle soup. <laughs> I will gaze into my magical snow globe to guess your favorite Arctic animal. As you can see, the Arctic is covered in snow and ice. Now tell me, what color is your favorite Arctic animal? My favorite Arctic animal is... Wait, let me guess. I'm really good at guessing. I bet your Arctic animal is... white. My Arctic animal is white. How did you know? Being white helps an animal blend in with the snow, which keeps them safe because it makes them hard to find. See? I see my favorite Arctic animal. It's... Wait! I will guess. Just give me a teensy-weensy clue. Well, my Arctic animal likes to swim. Hmm. I need your help. Which two of these animals likes to swim in the water? An Arctic hare? A beluga whale? An Arctic fox? Or a polar bear? The beluga whale and the polar bear. They're in the water. Right. They both like to swim. Now, we just have to figure out which one of these two Arctic animals is Una's favorite. May I have another clue? Okay. My favorite Arctic animal loves to swim in the water, but he likes to walk on the ice and snow. Hmm, tricky. I need your help again. Which of these animals can swim in the water and also walk on the snow? Is it the polar bear? or the beluga whale? The polar bear! Right! Polar bears love to swim in the water, but they make their homes on the ice and snow. Is your favorite Arctic animal a polar bear? You're right, it is the polar bear. Then may I offer you this? Thank you! And thank you for helping me guess Una's favorite Arctic animal. All cats have a long, free... Tail. Yes! Cats use their tails to help them balance. And cats can walk very quietly on their soft... Paws. Paws, right. I love kitties. Let's sing about them. She's kind of fat, her paws are white Look a little like mittens The same thing's true about each of her kittens Kittens, kittens, kittens. She likes to sit in her window with the sun Here kitty, 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 pretty feline Just lay around the house, that's totally fine Here kitty, 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 country cat is city kitty You're such a pretty as a pet. I want to take you back home. Come and get it! Komodo dragons can smell with their tongues. Here, Komodo dragon. Huh. It is the 
the size of a picnic table. Uh. Nice, Komodo dragon. She swims. <laughs> Stop, pet finders. You found the dr <clears throat> the lizard, and you made Bubbleville safe again. Hooray! Pet finders! <laughs> and so, thanks to the pet finders, Traveling Gill took the Komodo dragon all the way back to where she belonged on Komodo Island, far away in Indonesia. Ever after. All right, Snuggler, you're under arrest for taking and trying to snuggle wild elephants. <laughs> but I only wanted to snuggle them. They're so cute. They are really cute. But you can't snuggle wild animals. And they don't belong here. You have to help us return these elephants back to the wild before someone gets hurt. Okay. Wait a minute. These aren't all Asian elephants. These elephants come from different places. I might have taken a few from Africa, too. Some of these elephants belong in Asia, and some belong in Africa. We need your help to tell them apart. Asian elephants are smaller than African elephants. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? One. Right, it has a small body. It's smaller than the other elephants. Elephants from Asia also have floppy ears that are smaller than African elephant ears. Which one is the Asian elephant in this herd? This, this one. one! That's right, this elephant has the small floppy ears. Thanks for your help. Let's get these elephants back where they belong. And so, the LFBI returned the Asian elephants to India and the African elephants back to Africa. The elephants are all back where they belong. <laughs> What's wrong? I just wish I had something I could snuggle with. What about this? <laughs> Good job, Agent. Ella, fantastic work. And they all live happily ever after. A baby cat is called a... Kitten. That's right. A baby pig is called a... Piglet. Yes, a piglet. And a baby chicken is called a... Chick. That's right. All baby birds are called chicks. Baby chick! <laughs> Every animal has got a family like every little lamb. It's got a flock of fluffy sheep. So pig bits fall in the mud with the hogs. While puppies sing along with their mama dogs. 
Wash away the fleas and you'll feel all better. Look, the fleas are going away. Do you feel better, sir? <laughs> Yay! Yay! Oh. Oh, oh, oh. And so, the vets made the big bad wolf feel better. And everyone was happy again in Storybook Town. <laughs> And they all live happily ever after. Come on, everybody. Get up and dance with us. Come on, get up. We're going to jump like bunny rabbits. Hey, everybody, here's a little dance. I think you're going to like it if you give it a chance now. Yeah, all you got to do is jump like a rabbit. Come on, hop to. All right, everybody, when I say go, we're going to jump just like a bunny rabbit. Are you ready? Here we go. A one, two, a one, two, three. Jump, jump, jump. That's right. Jump. need somebody to take care of them, just like you and me. Hello there, Molly. Hello, uh, sir? Molly, it's really me, Gil. But why are you... Shh, I'm hiding from that little chick who thinks I'm his dad. At least only one of the eggs hatched. Uh-oh. What's wrong, Gilly? The eggs all hatched. But where are all the chicks? I don't know. <laughs> Gilly? They're on my hat, aren't they? Dada? Uh-oh. <laughs> Welcome to Jungle Gym Dandy, the place for cats to play. Is that a... Uh, he's a black leopard. A leopard? But where are his spots? Black leopards have spots, but they're really hard to see. Let's build him a jungle gym. Okay, 
Here's the plan for the leopard's jungle gym. We just have to put the pieces in place. What does your black leopard like to do? He likes to play hide and seek. <laughs> Let's give him a good hiding place shaped like this. Let's see. This is a cube. It fits for the hiding place. Cool. He also likes to scratch a lot. Okay, let's find something for him to scratch. I need your help. Here is the scratching post. Which shape will fit here? The one shaped like a cone? Or the one shaped like a cylinder? That one, the cylinder. The cylinder, right. Let's put another piece on top with the flag. <laughs> Another cat is my customer. <laughs> Thanks, and thank you for your help. Excuse me, what time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? I got a turkey sandwich for lunch. Yum. What did you get, Una? I got macaroni and cheese. What did you get for lunch, Nani? I got macaroni and... Cheetah? <laughs> <laughs> Look out, bud! Whoa! That was a close one. We better not mess up Miss Butterfly's garden. Yeah, she gets really mad if anyone steps on her flowers. You got that right. Hi, Hi Miss Butterfly. Hello, Bugs. You better not mess up my spring flower garden. Yes, Miss Butterfly. Why don't you go fly that kite somewhere else now? Bye, Miss Butterfly. So the two bugs went to fly their kite over by the frog pond. I'm a frog, all right. Whee! Hi. Hi, Frog. That sure looks like fun. Would you like to try it? Why, sure I would. Here you go. Whee! <laughs> it's windy. Hold on tight so it doesn't get away. Whee! <laughs> oh, no! I'll get it. I got it! You messed up Miss Butterfly's flower garden. Oh no, she's gonna be so mad. We have to fix it before Miss Butterfly gets back. So the bugs decided to replant the flowers. We did it! But the flower beds are missing some flowers. We need to figure out what flowers are missing. And then put the right flowers where they belong. We need your help. We need to choose the right flower to plant in this hole. The pattern is red, yellow, red, yellow, red. What comes next? Yellow. That's right, the yellow flower. Dogs can find things when they smell with their... Nose. That's right. And some dogs show others how they feel when they wag their... Tail! Right! And when dogs get really hot or need to drink, they stick out their... Tongue! That's right! Dogs are cool!
farms have chickens they give us. Eggs! <laughs> <laughs> yep. And some farms have sheep that give us wool. Lots of warm things we wear come from wool, like... Socks! Well, that's right. Farms are so cool! Let's sing about it! She gets hurt. I'll do it, Dusty. Go, Rusty. Giddy up. <laughs> Hurry, Molly. She's got her lasso. Gotcha. Straight for the cliff! Help me get Rusty to quit running! What's the opposite of go? Stop! That's right! Stop! Stop, Rusty! Stop! Molly, you are the finest cowgirl I've ever seen. Really? Thank you, Dusty. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it for the hero of the Bubble Tucky County Cowgirl Parade, our very own Cowgirl Molly! Yeah! Hello to you, Farmer. Hello. I lost my pig. Can you help me call him? Sure I can. They don't call me the animal caller for nothing. You said a pig, right? Mm-hmm. A pig. Hello. Uh, buck, 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 buck. <laughs> he hung up. I don't think he understood you. Does a pig say, buck, buck, buck? No. Well, what sound does a pig make? Oink, oink, oink. I'll try again. Hello? Hang on a moment, please. Help me call the pig. Say, oink, oink, oink. Okay, piggy. See you in a minute. Oink, oink, oink. Piggy! Thanks, animal caller. Just 
Just doing my job, ma'am. Come on, Peggy. Oink, oink. Hello, farmer number two. Hello. Is there an animal I can call for you? As a matter of fact, there is. I'm trying to find my horse. Can you call him for me? A horse? Of course! <laughs> that rhymes. It's ringing. Uh, yes. Moo 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 moo. <laughs> Rude. Does a horse say moo moo moo? No! You're right. What sound does a horse make? Nay! I'll try again. Hello? Hang on a moment, please. Help me call the horse. Say nay! <coughs> I've been looking all over for you. From sun up to sundown, a farmer tends his farm. The sound of a rooster is born. Horses, a bale of hay, eggs from chickens, wool from sheep. When you care for the animals, there's no time to sleep. Yeah. Sun up to sundown, a farmer tends his farm. The sound of a rooster is morning alarm. No, it ain't always easy working all day. Around so many things to eat. Yoo-ha! Sun up to sundown, a farmer tends his farm. The sound of a rooster is morning alarm. No, it ain't always easy working all day long. Sun up to sundown. Sun up to sundown, sing the farmer's song. Ladies and gentlemen, pigs, horses, and chickens, please welcome Farmer Joe! Thank you, thank you, and welcome back to the farm. This is a very big night for all of us here, and I know you're just as excited as I am. May I have the envelope, please? Ladies and gentlemen, Butterscotch the cow and her brand new baby! Butterscotch! Where is she? Butterscotch, where are you, girl? We need your help to find Butterscotch. Help us moo. Ready? Moo! 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 Butterscotch! That didn't sound like butterscotch. It's coming from back there. Come on, hurry! Here she is! Butterscotch had her baby! Does it have a name? <laughs> of course she does. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the newest member of our farm family, Puddin! Hello, Puddin. Hi, Puddin. Well, thank you for joining us here at the barn, everyone. Cock-a-toodaloo! Welcome to the Fruit Bowl. 
when we set them up and knock them down. you like in your smoothie, ma'am? Well, Bun-Bun loves carrots. So we'll make Bun-Bun a carrot smoothie. Carrots are vegetables. We need your help. Where do carrots grow? On a tree? On a vine? Or underground? Underground! That's right. Carrots grow underground. Now we have carrots, a tasty vegetable. What about fruit for your smoothie? Bun Bun loves bananas. Okay, let's take a look. We need your help again. Where do bananas grow? Under the ground, on top of the ground, or on trees? On trees! That's right. Bananas grow on trees. The bananas and carrots are all set up. And here's a cantaloupe. Bun Bun likes cantaloupe, too. Now it's time for you to knock them down. One carrot, banana, and cantaloupe smoothie coming right up. Bun Bun. Somebody likes smoothies. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for your help. On their head, a cowboy or cowgirl always wears a big cowboy... Hat. Right. And cowboys and cowgirls rope cows and do tricks with a... Uh... Lasso. Yep, a lasso. I wish I was a cowgirl. I want to be a cowgirl. Just a riding. and you'll win this gorgeous pair of golden binoculars. So let's begin. Our first category is beaks. A beak is where a bird's mouth is. Now let's take a look at our first three birds. A pigeon, a toucan, and an emu. For the first feather, find the bird with the shortest beak. I need your help. Which of these birds has the shortest beak? The pigeon? The emu or the toucan? The pigeon! That's right, the pigeon! You earned one feather. Now you only have to get 
get two more feathers to win the game. So let's see our next birds. A flamingo, a stork, and a swan. Double bubble! The question is a double bubble, so you're looking for two things. If you answer this question correctly, you get two feathers. And here's the question. Which of these birds has the longest legs and the shortest neck? I need your help again. Which of these birds has the longest legs and the shortest neck? The flamingo, the stork, or the swan? The, the stork! Correct! The stork has the longest legs and the shortest neck. You got the last two feathers. Which means you win the game and the golden binoculars. Thank you. And thank you for helping me. Don't worry, guys. I speak turkey. You say you know where the pumpkins are? And we should come with you right away? And you want us to get in the wagon? You heard the bird. To the wagon. Let's go! Happy fall, guppies! With some fall. <laughs> <laughs> Climb aboard, mateys. Uh -huh. oh, wow. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> nice to see you too, Giblet. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but where are all the pumpkins? We went back to the patch, but they were all gone. Ah, uh, well, that might be because me and my crew turned them all into pumpkin pie! <laughs> pumpkin pie! Pumpkin pie! Yeah! Pumpkin pie! Oh, wow! Pumpkin pie! Ah, uh, there's only one thing that's better than eating pumpkin pie this time of year. Eating pumpkin pie with friends! <laughs> An amazing interception by Una! Go, Una! And Una had better be careful, because I think it's about to get windy! Whoa! Goby Cat! Now Goby's got the nectar ball, but it looks like it's about to rain! Look out! Look. And there goes the nectar ball! Catch by Molly! What tremendous teamwork! Go, Molly! And Molly's heading back to the hive! Only a few more seconds until tea time! Now she's got to get the nectar ball into the hive by throwing it through the honeycomb! I need your help! Which one of these is shaped like a honeycomb? The square, the triangle, or the hexagon? The hexagon! Right, the hexagon. Wow! Bubble Puppy catches the nectar ball! Jolly good! And that's 
Fancy it for Her Majesty's Bubble Bee Athlon. Hey there, sweetie. Looking to fill that basket with some farm fresh eggs? Yep. Excellent. You've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Sunnyside Up Farms. What can I cock a doodle do you for? I'd like six eggs, please. I hate to lay some bad news on you, but I only have three eggs. Oh, but I need six. We can find more eggs at the chicken coop. Chickens lay eggs, right? Eggs at the mundo. Follow me. You'll have your eggs in no time because it's time to play Egg Scramble. There are eggs behind each of these doors. Check out the numbers. Door number four has... Four eggs. Yeah. And to win the game, you need to pick the door with the number of eggs you need. I need your help. I need six eggs and I already have three. How many more eggs do I need? Three! Right, three more. So which door should I choose? That one! Right, door number three. Let's see what's behind door number three. We have a winner with three more eggs. <laughs> Making a total of six. Thanks for your help. Anytime, Chicky Poo. <laughs> and thank you for your help. That silo was filled up to the top with corn. And it's popping. It smells delicious. Farmer Joe, will Scout be able to bring Wooly back? I sure hope so. Here, Scout! We're over here! I think they're lost! What's he doing? He's taking it with him so he can find the way back. This is so exciting. Be careful, Bubble Puppy. Girl Scout. And that was some fine sheep herding, Bubble Puppy. <laughs> Here's to Bubble Puppy and Scout, the best sheep dogs a farmer could ask for. Oh no! I got it! You messed up Miss Butterfly's flower garden. Oh no. She's going to be so mad. We have to fix it before Miss Butterfly gets back. So the bugs decided to replant the flowers. We did it! But the flower beds are missing some flowers. We need to figure out what flowers are missing. And then put the right flowers where they belong. We need your help. We need to choose the right flower to plant in this hole. The pattern is red, yellow, Red, yellow, red. What comes next? Yellow. That's right, the yellow flower. Now we only have to plant one more over here. Okay, we need a flower to go here. 
We need your help. The pattern is orange, orange, purple, orange, orange, purple. But here, one flower is missing. Orange, orange, purple, orange. What comes next? Orange. That's right. Let's plant another orange flower right there. We did it! Just in time. Hello, bugs. Frog. Hi, Hi Miss Butterfly. Miss Butterfly, our kite got away and we accidentally messed up your garden a little. It was me. You what? Looks fine to me. We fixed it. Thanks for putting my flower garden back together. Now let's fly that kite. Whee! <laughs> Feathers help birds fly. And birds fly when they flap their... Wings! That's right. Birds flap their wings to fly. on a bush, like... Strawberries. Strawberries, yeah! And some vegetables grow underground, like... Carrots. That's right, carrots. There are so many different kinds of fruits and vegetables. Let's sing about it.
your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.